Hey there guys, Craig1287 here, and going to be showing you my very first video review of anything. This is going to be an add-on called Better Battle Log. This is going to be for anybody using Firefox or Chrome. If you are using Internet Explorer, uh, Opera, Safari, you are screwed. Get Firefox or Chrome. And what you're going to do is go to this page. I'll have a link to this page in the description of this video. And I'm a Firefox user, so I would be clicking on this one right here. This is going to be version 1.1. It is stable. It will not piss off uh, Punkbuster. It's not going to bother anything with EA's, uh, and DICE's, hacker, cheater, anything like that. It only affects Battlelog. It does nothing to Battlefield 3. So you click on this. Uh, for Firefox, it'll t it'll pop up, you know, asking for your permission to download. I already have downloaded it. So we're going to go to my battle log page and see what all has changed. Looks pretty standard, but you'll notice on the left side you have this little tab right here, BB Log Center. You click on that, it's going to show you each of the individual features that this uh, better battle log add-on has introduced, the battle log. You can toggle these on or off as you see fit. I like all of them, so I'm going to have them all toggle on and show you what these features are. The very first one is an embedded YouTube player. Normally, when you're looking at this, you would just see a HTML little web address like that, but with this add-on, it embeds any of the YouTube links. So you would just be able to click on this and watch it directly in Battlelog. That one it's not too too great, but it's 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 you know, it's a start. It makes Battlelog better. Oh, stepping up our game here. We go to the weapons tab, go to any individual weapon in the game that is shown through Battlelog, and it's going to give you some more detailed stats. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this stuff before, showing the damage, its drop off after a certain range, shows accuracy at certain ranges, uh, it gives you some detailed stats on uh, recoil and uh, spread of the bullets, but this right here this accuracy plot. This is something I had never seen before. It shows uh, statistically where your second, third, and fourth follow-up rounds are going to go when fired in full auto. If you were aiming at the head, rounds are going to go around here. Second, third, fourth shots, again in full auto, if you don't compensate for the recoil yourself, that's where they're going to go. It's a pretty cool thing. It is handy, I would say. Um, I can see DICE uh, stealing some of these ideas and, and implementing it in their next uh, battle log or somewhere down the line battle log update. Uh, another thing is it just uh, kind of changes where this will be, It'll switch to another weapon, you don't have to go back to the previous page or tab, and you can click on the weapons here. But more importantly is this little sites video. A lot of people wonder what the difference is in the sites, and the reflex uh, it's it's you know counterpart is going to be the cobra. Uh, some people don't know the difference between them in game. They just don't uh, associate with the cobra or the reflex. So you, these little videos we're going to show you what they look like. A lot of people don't know the difference between the two 3.4 times zooms. This is the American version. Shown you in this uh, little video. It doesn't lag. Loads up pretty quick. It's pretty smooth. Looks nice. Here's the uh, Russian counterpart. You can have any of these playing at the same time. They load up quick. They don't lag. The only thing is they, you know, lack any features of pause, play, anything like that. You can't up the resolution. But if you wanted to, I guess you could kind of have one playing and zoom in a bit. But that's just too much effort. Not going to do that. So, that's the weapons tab. It shows uh, just a little bit more detail. Again, you can find this information elsewhere, but it's nice to have this all in one place. Now, probably the biggest, most advantageous uh, feature in this add-on is within the server browser. You can come to any of these servers. Let's find one that's got a lot of players. Alright, here's the player list. Let's say I know that this guy is a hacker or... He uses, you know, tactics that I don't really approve of. Any reason you might not like this guy. He's got a stupid name or something. This add-on allows you to right-click on certain things that normally couldn't be right-clicked. And you have this thing called Radar List. 
This is your list only. If I add him to my radar list, it will not be shown up on anybody else's radar list, just mine. And what this radar list is, is you, you know, add that to it, and he's going to have a little radar icon that shows up next to his name whenever I see him in servers. Uh, if I see him in the server, I know not to join it. This thing applies also to servers. If I know that this is a server uh, that shows up uh, despite what my filters are, and I just don't like it, it's, you know, maybe a thousand ticket and I haven't filtered that out, maybe it's uh, just got a, a certain clan that I don't really like, anything, any reason at all that you might not want to join a server, again, right click, and you can add that server to your radar list. So you can, uh, you know, this is a pretty cool thing to help uh, add an extra level of not dealing with hackers, cheaters, glitch people, uh, nav, elevator things that, you know, it's going to get patched out soon, but still, people that use tactics that you don't approve of, just add them to your radar list. Pretty cool name, I guess, kind of. So yeah, that's this uh, feature, Better Battle Log, again, link is in the description. Uh, like and comment, uh, and if you wouldn't mind, a subscription would be pretty darn cool. Thanks guys, have a wonderful day.